Hey, all you jazz fans out there in the night, it's Jimmy Rudolph coming at you live, not undead but live, from WZMB Jazz at Three. And we are broadcasting from the historic Tribeca Studios in downtown New York City, the greatest city in the world. Hey, quit hogging the oxtails. And fans, even after the City Fathers bowed to political pressure and re-quarantined the entire Harlem neighborhood to keep zombies from migrating south, we've seen an exciting new Harlem renaissance. Yeah, those grits are getting cold, old man. As the only neighborhood not lurching with skull-lapping zombies, Harlem has become the place to be, where you can walk the streets for an afternoon without running for your life, pick up a bucket of homemade soul food, and, of course, lose yourself in the gift shops. Ah, folks, I wish you could see me in my shaft bell-bottoms, my Angela Davis fro. I am, as the kids might say, pimped out. And to keep the vibes flowing, let's cue up a little bird. I, I thought we just featured him, Jimmy. Ah, not Charlie Bird, J-Bo, but Donaldson to St. La Overture, Bird the Second. Our bead and jazz trumpeter, side man for the giants of his generation. You'd know that if you were more slice. Here he is. That be crackin'. Take off that stupid fro and take the call. Fans, Harlem is under quarantined. Yet somehow people from as far away as Connecticut managed to get through the concertina wire to enjoy a meal without becoming one. And how do they do it? Here to tell us, at great expense, and by great I mean none, which is great for us, is our intern, Craig Cooper. Hey, Mr. Rudolph. Uh, I'm here at Checkpoint Fast Jack in the subway tunnels just north of the IRT 125th Street station. Here, New Yorkers and tourists alike clamor down the platform into the dank, rat-infested tunnels, where they signal down one of the old metal subway cars run by the Harlem Underground on the local track. Underground Railroad? That's right, Mr. Rudolph. The old subway cars, packed like rush hour, take the passengers one stop up the line to 135th Street, past the concertina wire and onto the streets of Harlem for the peace, the jazz, the clubs, and food, for the quaint mugging... You telling me there's an underground railroad system for white folks? where white people can flee their own fearful, zombie-infested neighborhoods for the safety of Harlem? That's the secret ingredient in this food. Irony. Craig, how is Harlem reacting to this surge of white people on the streets? I can't talk, Mr. Rudolph. This mugger is stealing my phone. This place is awesome. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Our little intern is having his cherry mugged. Aw, I was going to mug him for his 21st birthday. Roll him in everything. Guess he'll have to settle for strippers and tequila. And with us on the phone now is Robin... Harlem spokesperson, community organizer, and friend of the show. Hey, Robin, how's it feel to be the new tourist mecca? Still able to keep it real, or is it a case of, <laughs> here comes the neighborhood? I admit, Jimmy, we were a little outraged when they put back the Constantina wire. Here we are just getting ready to capitalize on some zombie head popping, and they apartheid us up. But I'm going to take a picture of that fence, and I'm going to put it in my fat wallet right next to my kids and my mama, because that why is the best thing that ever happened to me. Tourism is up 500%. Unemployment down to the negative folk. White folks are busting their kids in to go to our schools. Profits up across the board in the legitimate industry, as well as the white market. The white market? Well, what do you think we're going to call it? The Constantina Y is a landmark, baby. Chew groups are using it as a backdrop for their chew feeds. Kids go and bang and say, meet me at the Y. Never before has oppression been so profitable to the oppressed. <laughs> Harlem used to be free, but now we got us a cover charge. Cover charge at last! Cover charge at last! And thank you, Robin. Great God Almighty! Cover charge at last! And we'll be back right after this. Bray. Harmony.com. Have you lost a loved one to the zombie apocalypse? Sure, you've moved on, but they're still out there, lurching through the night, lonely and forlorn. Now, find your zombie the perfect mate. Post your beloved zombie's picture on Z Harmony and search our database free for an entire week to find just the right zombie companion. We'll bolt them together at the hip, and our production crew will follow the happy couple for two days as they lurch through New York City, supplying you with a video keepsake, all for 29 credits. Brains. 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 Don't let
let that zombie mood indigo get you down, log on to zharmony.com today. We're Flockador. Let's call in our former producer, the Iowan queen, Melissa Maline, folks. Hey, Mel, how you doing? Hey, Tim Jim. Sorry, I'm still a little woozy. The doctors here have me on all kinds of meds. Yay! Well, are the meds fighting off the infection in your foot? Uh, I don't have that old foot anymore. The toenails were all falling off anyway, and who needs that? So your right foot has been lost to zombitis? I didn't lose it, mister. I know where it is. Clomping around the toxic waste pit right next to my right chin, knee, and thigh. Your whole leg? They said above the knee should be safe, but... I'm an all-or-nothing kind of gal. Figure while they're looking under the hood, they might as well check all the fluids. Well, you know, they're doing excellent things with prosthetics these days, and and also a metal leg makes you less attractive to zombies. Hey, I can use j as a leg, right? Zombies won't come near me then. Well, I'm glad to see your attitude's holding up. You're still the same old Melissa Maline. That's me. Same old brains. I'm sorry. I gotta go, Jimmy. My left leg is twitching a bit. <laughs> Still, at least it keeps me from getting bed sores. Why don't you come visit me, mister? All right, well, where are you? Classified. <gasps> but bring candy. Yum! Said to be on the short list for next year's Nobel Science Prize, as well as the Peace Prize, the Economic Prize, and the Zombie Killing Prize, these two chew sensations were the first to discover that their music exploded zombie brains. Please welcome to the show, Puddin' Pretty and LL Cool Spray. Gentlemen, thanks for coming on the show. Sure, man. You want us to play some? Uh, God, no, no, no. How did you discover the amazing power of your sound? Well, we were out on the street, you know, kicking it, playing our number one hit single, Death is White, when... Number one with a bullet, man. Your songs were already popular? No, but it is now. You know what I'm saying? Ah. See, the market need to be educated, get me? Our sound kind of cut an edge, and that's why it's chew, right? So the zombies are... are fuckers, man. So we was playing, and this screamer comes around the corner, his eyes all swollen up and shit. He was ugly, you know, like Zoe Dashanel ugly, you know what I'm saying? And there's like 20 more right behind him. And we thought, oh man, this is it, yo. You can kip bass more than five screamers. They create that sonic net with their screams. And just close in. But then, the point man, the leader, he starts twitching, and then boom! And that was his head. All over the others. And they was twitching too. Then boom! 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 Kaboom! Yeah, we gonna use that beat on our next single. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does it feel to be heroes? It's all right, I guess. We was kind of set on being chew stars, you know? Yeah, nobody wants to hear our shit unless they be zombie around. Friends I ain't heard from in years be calling up. Hey, man, why don't you come by with that song of yours? I mean, we played the Apollo, yo. You did? Damn straight. I mean, no audience, though. They, they just wanted us to clear the theater. Yeah. Well, you won the Nobel Prizes. You saved your neighborhood. Maybe the world counts for something, right? Yeah, I yeah guess whatever. So. I don't, I don't know. know where. Uh, well, now for some uh, real music jazz fans. What? Motherfucker. Uh, give them the bird, Jabo. Sorry, fellas. I just work here. 